uh, I think on the shared narrative or the meta narrative, if you asked any one of us 10 times in a row, we'd give you, you know, every month we'd give you a different answer of why or a slightly different answer. And I'm not sure that there's, um, I think there's elements of similitude across why people show up. And I also think it's dynamic and it changes. And I'm not sure that the meaning maker, meaning making structures are shared, but I can offer up some, um, some that I've heard of um, communities of belonging. So uh, a place to be and be in and of your most quintessential nature and uh, to blossom, to, to blossom and unfold in that, uh, from that intrinsic place and be held in it. So the communities of belonging, all of the things that we've um, seem to have lost or put down during um, the hyperatomization and, and alienation of uh, late stage capitalism and coming back into groups and, and the death of God and kind of this return to community, but not just any type of community, a certain um, a categorically different caliber of uh, soul community, spiritual community, um, soul family, soul tribe, all of these terms uh, bubble up um, that is deeply authentic, deeply relational, um, building the capacity for trust and transparency and intimacy. All of the things, many are many of the things that people are not getting elsewhere. Mm. Uh, you may have community here or there, but uh, how deep, how shallow, <laughs> question mark, uh, is, is there? Um, and how nourishing and how much of yourself can you show up? Can you show up in your shadow self and be held and be, you know, can you be transpersonal or, you know, are you in mostly uh, pre-rational, rational, post-rational, transrational spaces? So like there are these, as people are going on these developmental arcs to be seen in this sort of um, multi-dimensional panoply or this like parallax and be seen from many angles and known in those ways is something that I hear as narrative um, in these spaces uh, to be held in their fullness and to play in many different narratives without any narrative in particularly being held too tightly, right? To show up in many different selves as many different faces. Um, and I think there's a transition from uh, speaking of the faces of the, the hero with a thousand faces or the, the moving from the hero's journey to the kindred quest or from, uh, you know, the Buddha to the next, the next Buddha is a Sangha, right? So there's something about this collective intelligence and this um, coordination, the capacity for a, a group to coordinate um, their, their highest goals, intentions, desires. I'm thinking of the, 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 um, the Ken Wilbur, uh, uh, wake up, clean up, grow up, show up, right? So if, as, if you're developing towards the end of that showing up, how do we, okay, we've done the hero's journey. We've got, we're getting to a place where it's like, how do I do this with others? Uh, what does it mean to show up higher state stages, all of these sorts of things, developmental, um, capacities, both uh, vertical and horizontal. How do I do that in a group? Oh, this is much more complex. <laughs> so it's kind of the kind of the, the coalescing of of getting together and and the finding oneself, getting self aware as a collective. What does it mean to have a group self awareness? What do we do with that? What are our values and our goals? And I I think some of those are embedded in the draw, in the magnetism of the of the events themselves and the people that are there. That is is already in the essence of the pull of, uh, and I think in an in a more intentional group way, like okay, now we've become this transformer, or we become our captain planet. Like we've put our part with our powers combined. Now, how do we walk around and do stuff together? I think there's a like, a, okay, we're becoming this and, and sensing into the animate or sentient and or natural intelligence that is coming, that is, the, you know, the kind of co-evolutionary process that's coming through us, right? It's like, what actually wants to, what do we want to be as a we that is, that is sourced from the center? not like directed from a top down or like, oh, it's gotta be this, but like that there's a deep listening or a, um, that, that the patience for the unfoldment of like, oh, it looks like we're turning to, 
into this kind of, a, I call it sometimes a mystery seed. Uh, you don't know what's in the seed, but if you kind of wait and look and nourish it and grow, oh, look, it's going to be this thing. And then it turns into a flower and then, but maybe the flower was a, was a butterfly and then, or, you know, like it kind of tri moves and shifts and transform. And as long as you kind of oscillate on the edge there and kind of float on the, on the possible and get good and flow as a group, you can kind of move it forward, but be in relation at when in relationship with what wa wants to come forth and then, uh, what you're adding to it or what we're adding to it. Along with our website at portalsofperception.org, Portals is also available on YouTube and on all podcast platforms, as well as social media. You can become an active member and join the conversation in community events. And you can help us get the word out by liking this content and by sharing it with your friends.